Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to read Microsoft Publisher files if you don't have Publisher installed. Now unfortunately there is no sort of Publisher viewer or anything like that and OpenOffice doesn't recognize the format. So if you've got a Word document, you're in luck because OpenOffice does recognize that format. With Publisher, not so lucky. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use an online service to convert the Publisher file to a PDF. You won't be able to edit it, but at least you can see what's inside of it. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this uh, publisher file out. So, let's say file, save as, and we're going to leave the default name, and yes. So, we'll close out publisher. Next thing we're going to do is come over to this website that's uh, publisher to pdf.com. It's basically the only thing that this website does, and it's uh, pretty slick and easy to use. It labels it step one, you click browse to find your file. So, we'll click browse. It also defaults to my documents, so we're going to scroll down and click on our publisher file and say open. And uh, the next thing we want to do is type in our email. So I'm going to type my email, Josiah at jraystudios.com. We'll transpose the D and the I there for a second, and we'll click save or send. All right, and it says success. We've uh, successfully converted it and sent it to our email, so we just need to check the email for the link. So, there we go, our publisher document has come through, so let's open up the email, and it's got this uh, you know, beautifully formatted image at the top. You scroll down, you're looking for this kind of link here, and it's going to be almost all the way at the bottom of the document, so don't click on the learn more button or the publisher to pdf.com. We want to click on this really long link here, so we'll click on that and it wants us to click the download your file button, so we'll click here. Now, it would really like to sort of publish their website to your Facebook and things like that. We're not going to do that though, and you don't have to. Instead, if you just click someplace around here, it should start the download for you. Mine started automatically, so I didn't even have to click anything. And uh, it asks us if we want to keep the file. That's because occasionally people can hide harmful code inside of a PDF. But since we made the PDF ourselves, we already know that it's safe. So we're going to say keep file. And there we go. It's uh, started its download. And there it is. It's finished. So it's named exactly the same way our file was named. And if we open it up, we can see it's completely blank because, again, our original publisher file was completely blank. If you had a calendar or something like that in here, you would then be able to see any of your old data that you might have lost. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video on how to view Microsoft publisher files. If you've got any other questions, please contact me at josiah at jraystudios.com. I'm Josiah Ray.